Welcome back, y'all. Today, I'm be doing top five premium jets for War Thunder in 2024. I'm gonna be ranking these based off like how easy it is for a new player to use this and be good with them and be able to grind their desired country. Now, I know this may be a shocker, but there will be no F20 in this video, even though I think it's a great play nonetheless. But $75 is just not worth it at all. And as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It's always just to help me out and it'll really mean a lot. Thank you guys. So now let's get started with the video. At number five, I'm gonna have the J35XS and the A5C. This is mainly because I just really cannot tell the difference between these two. These two both are like the same ranking for me. The J35 is like obviously more of a uh, air to air plane, obviously, right? But the A5C with the magic ones at I think it's 10.0, it's just such a great plane with the ability to ground pound as well. And it's really fast as well, you know. But one thing that I can highlight about the J35XS, right, is it's extremely good maneuverability. It's pretty fast. The missiles it gets are pretty easy. A9 and J's, I think they are, at 10.7, which is a great PR nonetheless, right? 10.7 gets you into a lot of down tiers and all over just a lot of games where you have the ability to perform. The gameplay in the background is not my best, obviously, but I've had great games in this plane while being able to grind effectively. But the A5C on the other hand grinds so much better that if it wasn't a bit, you know, it turns really badly. The energy retention is alright, it's there, but if the A5C could, you know, turn better and was more maneuverable, I would have it way up higher than the j 35 xs maybe at the 4 or the 3 spot, right? But then you run into that issue where the plane just doesn't turn that well, you know? But then that's why you can use it as a bomber, you know? Bomb the bases, go shoot a few magics, get a few gun kills, you know? It's a great plane if you're somewhat experienced, right? But for new players, it's just they're not used to it, you know? They're not used to the ability of, you know, oh, I just can't outturn everybody. I have to actually play a bit of strategy, you know? And this is their first jet, you know? But. Where the J35XS can make up in that regard of being able to be used by new players is it has, it's a great turn fighter. Its energy retention may be shit, but the way that it turns is immaculate. You know, it turns so quick. It's a delta wing, obviously, right? But one feature that I have to give to the A5C is the use of its RWR and countermeasures. J35XS only getting 12 of those. I don't think it's enough personally at 10.7 and the lack of an RWR is really going to kill it. But one thing that it has really good is a really, really powerful IRST. That thing is really good for helping out with the um, RB24J. Now on the screen, you can see the stat card for the A5C. It has, I think, 18 countermeasures and those are single use, by the way. It's really good. And the price, obviously, $6 is a bit expensive. Comments with your Golden Eagles and your premium account, though, so it's great for new players who want to, you know, hop into the game. You know, it might have a bit of difficulties with it, but it's great for grinding, and I recommend both these planes on a sale, especially. Real quick edit, the A5C actually has really good energy management, so still a great plane. I made this graphic on Microsoft Paint, and it's pretty much just a pyramid to show how the iron missiles in this game rank amongst each other. I don't have a radar one, unfortunately. I'm not that well versed with those, but pretty much you can just use this for future reference to know which missiles are better and which missiles are worse. All right, so next up we have the Kafir Canard, which is a rank seven Israeli plane. It is a BR of 10.7 and has great weaponry. The missiles are relatively all the same, 18 Gs in pretty decent range. However, I personally would go with the A9 Gs and you know to get a little bit of ground pounding in there, I would go six 750 pound bombs just because you know you're really fast at this plane, which is something I forgot to mention. You are extremely fast. You turn well and you you can get high pretty quickly as well. I don't know about radar and RWR. It might, it might not. I don't have this plane. I don't have gameplay either, unfortunately. 36 countermeasures, I don't know if they are single use or in pairs, but this plane, it's really great except for the fact it is a delta wing, so it loses speed pretty quickly, but the canards up front help it a bit. It's not as bad as the J35XS, but this plane is pretty great. 
I personally have heard a lot of great things about this plane, especially with, you know, the missiles, the ground pounding, the cannons, all that great stuff. And like every other $70 premium plane, it comes with 2,500 Golden Eagles and a premium account for 20 days. Uh, for new players, I would think this is a pretty good plan to get. Obviously, it's a bit hard, you know, with the turning and the energy management. But I think, you know, watch a few YouTube videos, you know, practice it a bit. You'll get the hang of it, I think. And even if you're experienced at this plan, if you're experienced at the game, sorry, this plan would be a great purchase for you or anybody else. As, you know, it has this really texture, which is, you know, it is a small texture, you know, but the top tier and the potential of it is great. I would definitely recommend this plane. Seventy dollars, though, however, is pretty high price point. But on sale, this is a great plane to get, and I would definitely recommend it. So I did brief research and found this plane has a pretty decent RWR. Its radar is just a nose rangefinder, and it has countermeasures as long as fuel tanks. I still think this plane is a pretty great buy, and I would buy it if I could. In the number three spot, I have the Rank Seven USA F. 5C. This plane comes in at a BR 10.3. It was my first ever premium I bought for this game. The weaponry is kind of weak. You get from missiles only the A9E, which is a pretty mid missile we saw from my missile chart. It has 10 Gs, which is really bad. Its range is pretty shit too. But it does have that uncaged seeker, which it may feel like you get more G's, but it's just tiny now, but it makes it a bit better. But the really great thing about this plane is that 10.3, it has one of the best flight models at 10.3, and I mean the best. This thing will not lose energy if you're turning at about like 0 0.85 Mach to like 1 Mach, you would not lose any energy at all. You can just do circles and circles and circles. This thing will never lose energy. The issues of getting up to that speed. This plane's engines are pretty weak. But the turning, though, that turning is just really makes up for it. It gets 60 countermeasures. They fire in pairs, so use however you want to. No radar at all for this plane. The issue about 10.3, though, is that you get a lot of up tiers. And up tiers into like 11.3 games of MiG 23 MLs, F4S. Uh, other planes I'm thinking of just make 23s F4s those big planes right there Those can be a bit of a challenge especially with those radar missiles. You can't distinguish those on your RWR So you just have to be mindful of that just fly low and you'll be alright This plane though as well has a pretty decent capacity for bombing, you know base and ground targets, whatever It has lots of bombs rockets missiles. I think the AGM 12B which is it's all right missile. I never used it before so I wouldn't know but I've heard it's pretty decent. You can use this plane for like bombing bases with missiles as well, but the issue is that it takes a really long time to get up the speed of those and forget turning with that. So I would personally recommend going for A90s, 60 countermeasures in your really great cannons actually. I love the cannons on this plane. 560 rounds of those, it's great. For new players though, I would definitely recommend this plane as Turn fighting as a new player is probably one of the easiest things you can do. So, and the energy management as well just makes it really easy. The missiles though aren't going to give you much help. So there's an issue there, you know. But the turning capabilities and the other great features of this plane really make it user friendly, of course. And honestly though, it's what I think sixty-five dollars. on the might have bumped the price. I haven't played in a bit. But I would definitely buy this if you desperately need a premium plane. You're like, fuck it, I can't play props anymore. And I don't want the A10, I don't want the A6E. I want the F5C. I would definitely go out and buy it for $65. You know, you get the premium time, the golden needles, all that great stuff. On sale, definitely buy this plane. Definitely, 100%. And honestly, though, this plane. You, if you, you know, get good with it, you can do really good with it. I never really, actually, I'm going to be, be completely honest with you, I was never that good with this plane, you know. It's just not my play style, you know, but I can determine, like, I think in this gameplay right here, this MiG-21 right here, I'm just going to absolutely abuse the fuck out of my turn. Watch this, ready? 
right there. Does a easy turn into so if he was on my ass, I turn around, boom done, he's dead. I'm just gonna go finish him off right here, right? But you can see just how well this plane can keep his energy in turn. It's it's honestly a great plane. And I would definitely recommend purchasing it if you could. In second place I have the MiG-23 ML, which is a rank 7 Russian premium jet. It comes at a BR of 11.3 and this plane I think has probably one of the greatest flight models for how it does everything solo. It doesn't do everything above average, it does everything at average. Its speed is pretty good, its turning is pretty good, its energy management is pretty good. Everything about this plane is pretty good. Except for the radar. The radar is where this plane begins to lack of it. And along with the RWR, both these factors of this plane are a bit, you know, on the lower side, which is why I have to rank it at the second spot. The radar, it's it's pretty mid. It's I think 20 miles range. It does come with an RST, which is pretty good for the amazing amount of RM that this plane gets. But we'll go into that in a bit. Uh, it has MTI mode, which I think works under like a thousand eight hundred meters or something. It's like pulse Doppler is pretty similar. Sixty degrees width is, is average, whatever. But the four degrees of up down is yeah, it's, it's a bit iffy, you know. The RDVR is horrible. It doesn't tell you. It only tells you four directions: top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. That's all you're gonna get from this. Doesn't even tell you if you're getting a launch or anything like that. So yeah, it's for 11.3, it's a pretty mid RWR. But the loadouts this plane can carry are pretty good. You get R24Rs, R60Ms, and the R23, R, R, sorry, R24T. This plane also gets you know extra fuel tank and countermeasures, but you don't really need countermeasures. I just run the fuel tank. Uh, this plane is a fuel guzzler. I have to say that does guzzle fuel like a fucking Swedish plane. But the countermeasures in this plane, I think they fire half of them do double, like in pairs, and then the rest I think are single. I don't know, I don't remember exactly. The countermeasures are decent, I'll just run 60 flares, whatever, doesn't matter. But for your missiles, it would this will strongly have to depend on what map. If you're playing a closer map, I would go with the R24T's really great radar missile. I mean sorry, IR missile. I love them, they're really good. But you know, bigger maps, you know. Get those R24 hours out. You know, shoot them a bit. They they track really well. I like them a lot. Russian missiles in this game are just much better than the American ones. The so R60Ms, their their range isn't that great, but they do have uh I don't know exactly what it's called, but off the rail, they pull really nicely. 30 Gs, really good missiles. I like them a lot. They do ignore flares a decent amount of the time. For ground armament, this plane gets a decent amount of rockets and bombs i'm not sure exactly how much it is i don't know to be honest i don't use this plane for ground at all i don't even play ground at all to be honest but the cannon as well is pretty good it's 223 millimeter rounds i think really good i love the cannon on this plane as well it's just this plane in general is really great especially for grinding out the russian texture which has you know the sukhoi 27 the mig 29 the su 25 if you're into that the yak 141 which like nobody talks about I, this plane is like still up there, you know, it's still a great plane and you know, it's even at 11.3, you know, a lot of up here is to that 12.0 region, you know, F-16, M-29, you know, it definitely holds its own weight, excuse me, but would I get this plane for $70? If you need a Russian grinder, sure, go ahead, go for it, right? But if it's not necessary, I would just wait for a $70. You know, $70? for any plane is such a crazy price tag i'll wait for a sale if you don't need it right away this plan i think is just honestly is just great and i would definitely buy it if i were you all right so at number one i know i glaze it so much on my channel but the f4s phantom 2 the rank 7 usa 11.3 premium jet one of my favorites and while I was grinding for USA a few weeks back, I love playing this plane. It's amazing. It's so great. And honestly, out of every other plane I've discussed, this is probably one of the most new player-friendly planes ever. It's so simple. 
with the HMB, all you need to do is just point around, lock up, fire an AIM-7F. Hold your lock for like five seconds, boom, he's dead. The AIM-7F's got buffed recently. They're they're good missiles now too. I don't know what the heck happened to them, but they're good now all of a sudden. I don't know what that was about, but they're great. I think I've had my highest kill game in an AIM-7F. I'm sorry, fuck, in an FRS. I mean, this plane, the with the slats, the front slats, you know, how they had them on the F4E, I think. This mixed with like the capabilities of the F4J make one of the greatest F4s. It has amazing energy retention. Um, and the turning isn't the greatest. And it's not really the fastest plane, right? But the extremely powerful radar makes up for it. However, though, the RWR, I think, is broken with this plane or something because it just shows a bunch of question marks and I don't know what's up with that one, right? But for my personal use of this plane, I've mainly just used it for fighting. I haven't done much ground pounding with it, even though it has full ballistics computer. Great. I mean, when I mean great, it has great ground loadout. No guided bombs. I don't think so, at least. I don't think it has guided bombs. But it has uh, 750 rounds on the underbelly cannon. 60 countermeasures which fire in pairs and I mean me personally when I use this plane right five aim 7f's and two aim at h's your aim 7f is gonna be your best weapon on this plane by far uh this plane in general relies on its missiles but I mean the flight model you know the very powerful radar can make it really easy for a new player to just use this plane go up there get a few kills come back down and rearm and do it all over again. I mean, this was, I think, the third premium I bought, and I just did so well with it right away. Like, a week into it, dropping aces just like that. Excuse me again, sorry, but... Paired with the HMD, I mean, this plane is just really good. And I know that new feature was, like, automatic tracking, you know, based off which is best for the radar. That mode is amazing for this plane as well. It's just so good. I just love this plane so much. And you can tell me, like, four videos on that on my channel, right? But it, it really is that good of a plan, and I would definitely recommend buying it. But I'm going to analyze some of my game plan in the background here. I'm just going to go right here. Let's make 23 right here. Easy target. Easy look. Just lock it up. Fly away. Missile does work. Done. Severe damage. Pretty much a kill. We're going to turn into the big, huge furball of enemies right in front of us. Just going to look for a target. You see, look, the HMD just falls everywhere I look. I look at a plan. Lock it up. Boom, dead. This is J7D right here. Lock it up. Fly away. And he's gonna be dead soon. Just like that. He's. Nope, no, that one missed actually. Oops. Dodge that tornado right there. And MiG 27 up there. I don't think I got this one actually. Don't remember. This is a bit of an old gameplay right here. But right here, MiG 27 up in the air. Oh no, he died? Oh shoot. MiG 23 right here. This one right here. I think I get. I don't remember. This is old. I think this is an ace. I don't remember this one exactly. Uh, let's see. Be just flying around looking for targets with your radar. Just find somebody and lock on to them. Alright, this is MiG-23 right here. Things can die. No? Okay. But one thing I do recommend when we're playing is go straight flares, right? Periodically, just drop your flares. You know, you have 60, 30 uses. That should be more than enough just in case, you know, because your RD is pretty shit. But this F4S right here, he's just going to get slammed out of the sky by the name 7. Boom, there you go. Just slams him, you know, the lock up to him. Fire missile five bit away, boom, dead, just like that. Uh, somebody else here dies, probably S, uh, F4S or somebody. I don't know exactly, like I said. But I mean, this plane is just such a great plane. I love flying it. Oh, yeah, just tornado right here up in the air. He's gonna get slammed out sky. Just look, I mean, he tries flying, nothing he can do, right? Missile gets him up in the air. Ace is honestly such a great plane. And then the aim seven H's, which also use the HMD, means you can hit some crazy shots. You can look. 30 degrees to your right, the missile is going to seek onto that and it's going to track beautifully into the target. And the A9Hs is another great thing about them, they have so much range. I would definitely get this plane, especially if it's on sale. If you need an American grinder, definitely get this plane over the F5C, $70, 100% get it. One thing I forgot to mention is that every plane except for the F5C in this video has a full ballistics computer. And I'll be making a more in-depth review for each one of these planes sometime in the future. So stay tuned for that. And with that said, uh, 
Each one of these planes is great for a new player. Each one of them has its weaknesses and its own strengths. Obviously, I'll definitely recommend buying every single one of these. Just depends on what you need more, what texture you want, what your preferences are, all of those great things, right? I will make a more in-depth review on each one of these plans, like I said, in the future, obviously. But thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. This really all means just to help me out and it's free. It takes no time out of your day and it'll mean a lot. Thank you, guys.